Okay, that was a bit of a different intro than you're used to for me. But as you can probably tell, this video is the showcase video about putting the new type of LEDs in the Christmas tree and hooking it all up. You don't know what I'm talking about and this is your first video about that subject? Well, have I got news for you. Um, there's a whole list of videos that will help you and show you the process I went through to put this up and install it and configure it and stuff like that, but let's run through them real quick. The first video I think you should watch is where I kind of test and introduce these new type of pixels and show them off versus the old type of bulkier style pixels. Then, actually my previous video is where I prepare everything for going into the tree. So I prepare the controller, the wiring, and we take a look at power injection, voltage drop, and stuff like that. But you should also watch my video about the controller I'm using, which is a custom DIY design you can build yourself. It's called a Quinn LED Dig Uno, and I certainly recommend you watching that video. On the controller is running WLED as a software package, and I made a video about that and how you can use it on your smartphone with a simple app and stuff like that. So certainly check that one out too. And last video to check out is basically rounding it all off. How to get a Quinn LED Dig Uno, which is running WLED, configured into Home Assistant so you can hook up some automations and stuff like that. Now I get it, that might seem like a lot of videos, but they each go into a specific topic you'll need to know about if you want to replicate what you see in this video and maybe also get some of these lights to put up in your tree. But enough about that, let's dive into the tree and see how everything's hooked up. First, a quick overview of the tree with more light. My girlfriend always builds this tree and she loves having little birds in them. Okay, fine with me. She and I put the lights in together and although it took a little bit more time than normal, it wasn't too bad. Okay, first off, starting at the power socket, we see a current usage of about 14 to 15 watts. Not too bad for this effect at full brightness. Then, a cable coming from the Quinn LED Dig Uno is strapped to the tree using some Velcro. You'll see Velcro up here more often in this uh, tree. <laughs> then, that cable runs to the innards of the tree to see again the Quinn LED Dig Uno model strapped to the tree with some Velcro. Here you can also see the power distribution blocks we prepared in the previous video. Moving on, we work our way up the tree and see some power splice points. I currently have it spliced in every three strings and that works well except maybe for full time, full wide brightness. All other effects are doing just fine. Using some velcro and clever hiding, you'll basically never see these spots where we're injecting extra power from like the front or the side of the tree. Here we see another power coupling point and injection point, but if you're interested in how to do this, check out again my previous video where I show you all the preparations and how to wire it all up. Since the wiring is so thin and silver, it basically disappears unless you're looking for it. That's really nice. With about 350 of these LEDs in a tree, it outputs a decent or rather good amount of light and changing the color or effects changes the look of the tree completely. All the glittery stuff also really helps in spreading the light into all directions. All in all, we are very happy with the results, and maybe most important, my girlfriend has said multiple times now that she really, really loves it. She's been playing with the app on her phone a lot to make some nice patterns and store them so she can switch between them. And well, that's it for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the tree 
And if you're considering maybe putting some of these addressable lights in your tree next year. Lastly, I want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs>